Good morning, everybody. This is Deanna with Food Bank Beautiful, and it is Thursday, February 22nd, and today I am going to do two things. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a batch of cowboy candy because I am completely out, and the thought of not having cowboy candy for all my sandwiches and Mexican dishes and you know, my eggs and potatoes in the morning, my tacos, is just too devastating of a thought. I just can't conceive of a world where I don't have my cowboy candy. So cowboy candy is all over YouTube. You can go to probably anybody that you watch, you can Google and they probably have a cowboy candy episode or recipe. Now, I use the one from Acre Homestead because hers is very simple. It's uh, like four ingredients, jalapenos, sugar, salt, that's canning salt, and apple cider vinegar. You can Google around and find any one that works for you. Some of them add uh, turmeric, some of them add ginger, some of them add celery seed, some of them add everything under the sun. I don't want that, I just want simple. So I am going to put her link to the recipe that she uses in the notes. And if you're going to make it using the recipe that I'm following here, I really encourage you to go to her website, visit it. She's fabulous. I've been watching her forever. Mostly I do all of my gardening episodes. Uh, I watch her mostly for the gardening, but she cooks, she's funny. Her kitchen is spotless, people. And she always looks beautiful. You're never going to get this. <laughs> so go give her a little bit of love and know that I pulled this recipe from her. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put the ingredients that have to be on the stove in a pot and get those over there and get those dealt with. Then I'll bring you down here. I'll show you the process and that's what we're going to do. This is going to be a standalone video. Nothing on this one except the cowboy candy. Then, cross your fingers, people. <laughs> if this girl has any energy at all, she's going to make some cherry jam. I have some gorgeous chunky peanut butter. I got some nice bread in the freezer. I want to make peanut butter and jam sandwiches, but I want my own jam. I don't want store-bought jam. And today I'm going to make cherry jam. I say today, maybe it'll be next week, we don't know. Collateral noise. My roosters are all outside in their area. You may or may not hear them. Grandma just went down for a mid-morning nap. She came out and had coffee and cheese toast and she drank that strawberry lemon collagen water that I got the other day and she loved it. So she's all, what's the word I want to say? Oh, God bless her. She's all fat and happy and tucked into bed like a little burrito. I have her door shut because when I process these peppers, the it, it can burn your eyes. So I don't want that going down the hall to her at all. I told you that um, my chickens were contained. <laughs> okay. Might have been a big fat lie, people. They are not contained. Not today. It is. It feels like 70 degrees outside, so I have opened my sliding glass doors and they are outside for the first time on the back porch. Now, now, let's all hope that they don't jump off the porch, go under the porch and under the house. Or, um, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Taking a big risk here. We'll see. Anyway, I can see them right now. They're happily eating bird seed on the back porch. They can come and go. All their food and water is in their kennel, so when they want to eat or whatnot, they can do that. I have done a walkthrough of my carpets this morning. I have cleaned up everything. There wasn't hardly anything. They're mostly using the area in their box. So enough of that. Now, I have washed my hands, okay? Uh, the water is boiling to put over my lids and rims right here. My jars are sitting in my canner. They have been um, in the dishwasher. They've been hand washed after that. And now they're in here just staying all nice and hot. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get this together. And I'm going to 
maybe go grab my measuring spoons because when you can it is really important to be accurate I know I love to just throw things right I I don't love to be perfect with my measuring but when we can we want to be as safe as possible all right nobody wants to <laughs> you know deal with botulism so let me go get my measuring spoons and I'll be back okay we are fancy this morning I have the real ones who's impressed come on come on we're gonna start with two teaspoons of pickling salt or I think it's called preserving salt whatever it is it's the non iodized so one and two and I don't know if you want to see me or you want to see the pot probably the pot so we've got that done that's out of the way now we're going to do four cups of sugar and all of the ingredients if I didn't say that before all of these ingredients are mine none of these are food bank ingredients today though I do I mm, I do have some food bank sugar but it's over there and I'm not going to use it one I don't know what that is but let's pull that out there we go one don't let me miscount people two three, four, and because I have four pounds instead of three pounds, I'm gonna add another half cup of sugar. And I'm gonna add a little extra of the apple cider vinegar. Now I have my own apple cider vinegar down there. It's aging and all of that is food bank, but we're not, we're not dealing with strict food bank today. All right, so we're doing two, there's one, there is two, and I'm going to do a half a cup extra because I've got extra jalapenos. I think we're still within the bounds of safe. All right, and if not, you decide what you want to do in your kitchen. If you want to follow that recipe exactly, you'll do three pounds of jalapenos instead of four. I'm just going to give this a little mix. Looking out the window, out my sliding glass doors, my little chicks are right there, so I don't have to crawl under the house yet, people. If I have to do that, I'm going to mute you because the language is going to be colorful. That's what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and put that on the stove. My water's boiling so I can put these in boiling water. Those have all been washed and cleaned. for a few minutes okay now we are going to be safety girls okay or boys who's ever here I think they said 5% of my audience was male so if you are a man and you are in here today woohoo! you are brave okay uh, for those of us who don't want to be injured we're going to wear gloves okay and then over my glasses, I'm going to wear safety glasses because I don't want anything spraying up into my eyes. If my eyes gave me grief, that would be a problem. Ooh. <laughs> Girl is gorgeous today. I'm just saying. Safety is always sexy, people, so protect yourselves. Now, I'm going to grab a little knife, and we're going to start chopping the jalapeno peppers and how I like to do it is I'm going to chop my peppers and then I'm going to rinse them in the sink and then I'm going to add them to my mix and I'm not going to keep you here for as long as it takes me to chop the peppers you're just going to get the idea okay let me go grab my knife okay now here's my knife and I'm just going to slice these jalapenos until they're all done. And then I will take them over to the sink, rinse them really good, and then we'll continue on with the process. Okay? 
So I'm not going to make you sit here with me for as long as it takes to slice these because that's going to be a while. But we're going to get it done. And it's going to be so worth it. It's going to be so yummy on everything. So if you guys have made this before or you're thinking about making it now, let me know in the comments. There are my jalapenos all sliced. I'm going to take them over to the sink. I'm going to rinse them really good. And then we're going to go ahead and start uh, the cooking process. Wow, those are just beautiful jalapenos. There we go. All right, I'm going to take them over to the sink just like I said I was going to. I'll be back. All right, I have my hot plate out. This burner is on high. We'll see if I can bring this to a boil over here. Otherwise, I might need to do it at the sink. We have our gorgeous rinsed jalapeno peppers right there. And a lot of the seed did come out. I'm not going to touch them because I don't have my gloves on. But I am going to re-put my gloves on and my glasses once this comes to a boil. So this is going to come to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, I am going to add the jalapenos. And then it cooks for five minutes. Once that happens, then I clear my counter space. And I start to can those jars. I pull my hot jars out. I fill them. I do my whole process. Wipe the edges. Debubble the whole nine yards. And then it goes into my water bath canner for 10 minutes. So that was pretty easy, you guys. And it didn't take long to slice all those jalapenos. And with safety glasses on, I didn't have any problem with my eyes, my hands. Um, safety glasses don't protect your face, but you could wear a little mask if you have one, but I didn't have any problem. Uh, little birds have come in from the house and they are laying outside grandma's door. They want to go into grandma's room. They love to sleep underneath her little bedside table because <laughs> grandma always have crumbs underneath there. Yeah, crumbs. Crumbs. Girl doesn't vacuum every day, so crumbs. But anyway, I don't want them in there. I need to have that door shut while I'm doing this process. I don't want grandma to have any issues with burning eyes or anything like that. Okay, people, we're getting it done and I'm feeling very good. I slept so good last night. It was amazing. Uh, it was beautiful. <laughs> it was the sleep of the innocent. So I don't know why I slept so good last night, but I did. It was glorious. I'll bring you back. Now, the recipe doesn't say to do this, but I can see a little bit of crystallization on the outside of my pan. So I'm going to take wet paper towels before this gets too hot, and I'm just going to go ahead and wipe that down a little bit. I definitely don't want hard crystal texture in my jalapenos. Only takes a minute, and it is definitely worth the effort. Take it right down to the edge of the, that looks better. I'm gonna do one last one just to be, just to be extra cautious. Okay, we got that done. All right. That's all we can do, so how it is is how it will be, but that looks really good. I actually don't see any more crystals there. This is starting to boil. It is getting uh, the boily things on the bottom. We'll wait till it comes to a rolling boil. Then we will put gloves back on, and we will put our safety glasses on, because when we dump this <laughs> right here, when we dump this, uh, there's a chance for it to splash up. My camera just doesn't want to hold nicely for you guys today. What's new, right? What's new? 
All right, I'll be back in a second. Okay, we are almost there. I've got a nice rolly boil. I'll give it maybe another 30 seconds and then I'm gonna start adding the jalapenos. I don't wanna just dump them in because I do not wanna get splashed, right? I don't. I got other things to do than be crying over jalapeno splash in my eyes or on my skin. Okay, let me get you down here and you can just watch the process. Once I get a few in there, I'll be able to tip the colander over. It won't splash up. These are so pretty. Ah, Just can't get over how gorgeous they are. Oh, my birds are outside playing in the sun, just like they should be, like real chickens, people, not like house pets. My husband called me last night. He'll be home in two weeks. So I can spoil them rotten for two more weeks and then they have to live like real chickens. Can you see all the seeds? That's what I wanted. I wanted some of the seeds to not make it into the batch. So we're good there. Now, this has to come back up to a boil. These jalapenos are nice and cold, so I suspect it'll take a little time. So I will leave you, and when this comes back to a boil and has boiled for five minutes, I will bring you back, okay? All right. Okay, now we are ready to do the fun part. We are going to fill the jars, debubble the jars, clean the jars, and then we're gonna water bath for 10 minutes. So I am going to pull jars out. These are nice and hot. I don't know if you can see the steam, but they're nice and hot. And then I'll try to bring you down here. I don't know how well you'll be able to see as much as I would love for you to see the whole thing, it's more important that I get it right than you see it. But let's see what that happens right there. Okay, we are going to fill jars. Let's see what that looks like. Maybe a little bit more. And then we're gonna get some of the juice in there. How hot is that? Oh, that's all right. And it says a quarter inch, so we'll start there. And let's see what happens when we debubble. You've heard me say, and you've probably heard every other canner say that debubbling is probably one of the most important things. You want no air, no extra air bubbles in here when you can. It can prevent your seal from sealing correctly. And you can see that went down about a quarter of an inch, maybe even a little bit more than that. I'm gonna give it a nice little double check. Okay, that looks good. I do need to add a little bit more juice. Brian, I guess is the right word. And that is right at the quarter inch mark. So we're going to take a little bit of vinegar and a clean paper towel piece. You know, I always keep those handy. I'm gonna wipe this jar down. And actually, I'm going to take a glove off because I need to be able to feel what I'm doing. Okay, that looks good. Okay.
fingertip tight. I think a little bit tighter when you water can. And that feels, I don't know if I can get that as tight as I want. Let me go grab a little towel. There we go. Yep. Okay. All right. There we go. We got our first jar ready to go in the canner. Isn't that pretty, you guys? There we go. All right, I'll do another one for you, and then I will get these ready to can and bring you back when they come out of the canner. You see that right there? Okay. Last time I did these mostly in the half pint sizes, but I have very few half pint jars left and I know I need a few for the jam. So we're just gonna try to use these. Besides, when I open up one of these jars, I go through it so fast. Okay, that's at a quarter of head space, but once we debubble, it might come down. In early March, I'll be doing a video of everything I canned in the month of February. And I'll be including these, even though none of these are a food bank item. Not everything will always be food bank, but we'll see what was the majority of it usually. And that needs a little bit more. There we go. Okay, that's perfect. Now we're gonna debubble. We did that. We're gonna wipe the rim. I'm gonna feel it first. It's really important that there's nothing sticky on these rims, especially when you're dealing with a, a sugar brine. You don't want anything to interfere with that seal. Now, if it doesn't seal, it's not the end of the world. You just pop it right into the refrigerator and you use it within the first couple weeks, you'll be just fine. That feels good. And there we go, there's our second jar. Okay, let me do the rest of these without you, and I'll bring you back when we pull these out of the canner. Okay, we got four pints of cowboy candy in the canner. I referred back to my directions like I always do. Even if I think I know what I'm doing, I always wanna confirm that I haven't forgotten something because I am of that age. So we did exactly what it said. We put the escape valve on escape instead of airtight. We have the lid locked. We put it on W water bath steam. We set the time for 10 minutes. All we have to do is wait for a steady stream of steam. And once we see that, we can press the uh, start button and it'll do its 10 minutes. All right, we're done with that. I'm going to take a little break, then I'm going to clean up this mess because we are definitely doing cherry jam <laughs> in another video, but I'm doing it now. Okay, our water bath is complete. It went its 10 minutes and it probably sat here for another five while I was doing other things. So let's go ahead and open this up. I like to step away from it and lift it so the steam is going in the opposite direction of my face. All right, we're gonna pull those out and take a look. We have four pints, and they're just gonna sit here. Actually, I'm gonna move them to the other counter offline because I'm gonna make jam here in just a few minutes. So let's see what we got. There's the first jar, looks beautiful. There's the 
there's the second jar. There's the third one. And here's the last. Last but not least. There we go. Now I'm gonna leave that hot water right here because I am gonna can some jam and I will have to water bath that 10 minutes when I'm done. So let me get my workspace cleaned off for my next project, but for you guys, we are done. We made four pints of cowboy candy. It all looks beautiful. I'll let it sit on the counter overnight. Tomorrow, I'll wash my jars, label them, and stick them on my canning shelves. So thank you, you guys. You were lovely to have here today, even though this is not strictly a food bank item. We made it anyway. Sometimes you just have to do that. <laughs> All right, you guys have a great day.